mechanical calendar and orrery. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick brief overview of how it works. It's lever driven and weight driven. It's a perpetual calendar and orrery. So this part here is the clockwork part. This part here is the orrery part. And then this part is to do with the moon. And obviously this is to do with the time and the day. Um, so the phases of the moon are indicated by the moon phase ball, which is this part here. It's accurate to one day in three and three years and three months. There's a window which aligns with an indicator that gives you the solstice and equinox. That's this part here and this little window here. The celestial mechanical calendar has an orrery. That's this part. And it shows the synodic rotations of the three closest planets, Mercury, Mercury, Venus and Mars, with indicators to show which planets uh, uh, they are and which go through their retrograde cycles. That's seen in a backward motion of the planets in the night sky. So this is Venus, this is Mars and this is Mercury. So Mars is roughly the same size as the Earth, Venus is a bit bigger and Mercury is a lot smaller. <coughs> The synodic rotation of Mercury is 0.31 Earth years, or about 115 days. And you can see that Mercury aligns with the Earth and Sun more than three times a year. So that's why it's got a very small gearing. The synodic cycle period for Venus is 584 days, or 1.6 years. So that's this chap over here. Um, the synodic cycle period for Mars is actually 2.13 years, or about 780 days. The large window on top of the planet's frame, that's this fella here, uh, shows the month and the zodiac sun sign. So that's at the bottom there, so you can see in May, as we are now, the sun sign is Scorpio. Notice that the rotation of the month zodiac wheel is clockwise. This allows all of the planets to travel counterclockwise in their orbits, orbits just as they do in the night sky. The equinox solstice wheel travels around four times per year and each time it will align itself with the equinox solstice window to display the day of the equinox or solstice. The moon's actual cycle from full to waning to new to waxing, that's over here, is around 29.53 days. The moon phase ball on the celestial mechanical calendar has a period of 29.55 days. That's making a moon phase ball accurate to one day in three years and three months. The ball also turns in a direction that, as closely as possible, reflects the moon's phase as you would actually see it in the sky. The celestial mechanical calendar knows if the month has 28, 30 or 31 days. And that's a cam that's behind this wheel here. That leaves this section up and down, which then allows this arm to operate this lever. And then this small pin, as this travels around, will advance the calendar automatically. And so you never have to set it, it will just run on if it's a 30 day, 31 month day, or 28th day, as it would be in February. This section um, is really part of not the original design. This isn't my design. This has been designed by a Hawaiian guy called Clayton Boyer. So he's done all the mathematics, all of the drawings for this. And all I've done is actually built him. Um, but there are some things that are a little bit unusual, a little bit different. The um, engraving on this wheel here and over here. And also this section um, with the nameplate um, and this clock because this to me is the only thing that it didn't have was the display of the time. So what you've got is the time and the date. You've got the day of the month. You've got the date. You've got the month. You've got the um, orrery part. And all of this is lever driven. So what we're going to do is just operate it now. And that's done by pulling this little handle down, which allows the clockwork to operate. And the first thing that you should see is this starting to move. And this should move from Saturday through to Sunday. And as that's happening, you'll see here that we move from the 8th onto the next day.
And at the same time, you probably can't see it, but all of this will, um, will move forward, will advance forward. And the whole mechanism is really just designed to move this lever backwards and forwards. So we've gone from the 8th year to the 9th of May. And then this returns ready for the next day. And um, this is what actually operates the whole mechanism. So it's a, a, a weight which is around um, 10 pounds, around five kilos. And this is pulling on the clockwork mechanism here. The reason why I've added this additional wheel is just so that there's enough um, travel for the weight. So that's my little project.